Hey, flamingos. Hey, so I wanted to read you guys one last book. And I thought this would be a great one because we've been all spending so much time with our family, right? And it's such a nice thing to get to do that. And this book is a celebration of all the different types of families that there are. So it's called All Kinds of Families, and it's by Marianne Hoberman. And the illustrator is Mark Bodemont. And the publisher is Little Brown and Company. It's a really happy book. All kinds of families. Okay, this is a rhyming book. So if you start to remember some of the verses in the book, it's just kind of like a song, right? There are parts of it where it's like a chorus and a song. It gets repeated throughout the song. If you start to remember them, sing it with me. It's fun. Families, families, all kinds of families. Families are people and animals too, but all sorts of other things fit into families too. Look all around and you'll see all that they do. Look at all these little critters on the leaf. A knife and a fork and a spoon are a family, and the stars and the sun and the moon are a family, and the socks in the drawer and the rocks on the shore and the blocks on the floor, they can all become family. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings. You can make families of all sorts of things. As soon as you're born, you're part of a family. As soon as you're born, you're a daughter or son. As soon as you're born, your family gets bigger. As soon as you're born, it's bigger by one. Eggs in a carton can seem like a family. So can a loaf with its slices of bread, celery stalks, or a big bunch of carrots. They sleep in the fridge with a drawer for a bed. What other things can you find to make families? Pennies and card decks and marbles and jacks, ribbons and bobby pins, hair clips and thimbles, pencils and rulers and crayons and tacks, bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings. You can make families of all sorts of things. Clams in the sea make a clamily family, and lambs in the field make a lamily family. Jams in their jars make a jamily family, and yams in the cupboard make a yamily family. Out in the yard, you'll find dry twigs and branches, horse chestnuts, barberries, acorns and cones. Down at the beach, you'll find pebbles and seashells, soft-colored beach glass, and ocean-smooth stones. A saucer and cup can be brother and sister. A comb and a brush can be husband and wife. A plate and a bowl can be Mrs. and Mr. And so can the spoon or the fork or the knife. It's a wedding, look. Your hand is a family, a family of fingers. Your foot is a family, a family of toes. And as you get older, each family gets older. And as you keep growing, each family grows. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings. You can make families of all sorts of things. If you are the first baby born to your mother, your mother's a mother because you are here. If you are the first baby born to your father, your father's a father because you appear. If you are the second one born in your family, someone's a brother because you arrive, or someone's a sister and you are a sister or a brother the moment that you are alive. That's really cool. This is my favorite section of the book right here. You can make families from clay or from Play-Doh. You can make families from mud or from snow. You can make families from paper or cardboard. Make them from sticks or balloons that you blow. Spools are a family, and tools are a family, and chalks from the blackboard at school are a family, and six slices of cheese, or a pod full of peas, or a key ring with keys, they can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings, you can make families of all sorts of things. As soon as you're born, you might make a new grandma, or maybe a grandpa, that's what you might do. You might make a cousin or might be a cousin, 
or an uncle and aunt might be made just by you. Pens full of bright colors of ink are a family. Toothbrushes over the sink are a family. Even the thoughts that you think are a family. Light as a feather, living together inside of your mind, what else can you find? You might say that numbers belong in a family or alphabet letters or notes in the scale. The colors in rainbows, the words in a language, the keys on a piano or stamps for the mail. Inside or outside, in summer or winter, you can find families for so many games. Families to play with and spend most of the day with, telling them stories and giving them names. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings. You can make families of all sorts of things. Make believe families and families of people. Families of people from long, long ago. Families like stepping stones crossing the water, leading to now and the families you know. Everyone comes from a number of families. When you look backward, it looks like a tree. People from families make other new families. The more you go back, the more people you see. It's like the family tree we made, right, at Thanksgiving. Play families, real families, all kinds of families. Think of the families, the ones that you're from. Someday you'll grow up and you'll have a new family and you'll be the family of families to come. Oh, look at all the clouds of people and balloons, all the different types of families, right? Let's look back here, though. The little baby. Maybe that's you, and you'll be the family of families to come. That's really cool. That's really cool. All kinds of families. You guys enjoy. Enjoy spending this time with your family because there aren't many times that we get to spend this much time with the people that we love so, so much, right? So give lots of hugs, lots of kisses, and tell everyone how much you love them because that's so important, okay? Kisses. <laughs>